On the agenda tonight, we're going back to 1976. We're going to be having a listen to the Eagles and they're going to be performing Take It to the Limit. Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. So we are going to be focusing on Randy Meisner here following the sad news that he passed away recently and thank you guys for the requests for this particular video tonight. Now just to explain what I've done with this video because it's a performance from 1977, that's what we're looking at, but we're going to be listening to the audio of a live performance from 1976. And the reason that I've done this is because, sadly, the audio from the performance that we're looking at in 1977, all of the videos that I've seen, the vocal has been auto-tuned. And I don't want this to be a video about auto-tune, I want it to be about Randy's actual voice and I don't want to get started on the fact that they're now auto-tuning performances live audio from the 70s and then re-releasing it so that's all we actually get to hear we never get to hear now the original vocal anymore so that's why I've done this so with that said as always with the Eagles unfortunately from a copyright perspective I don't know whether this video might get blocked we're just gonna have to see how we get on but let's see how Randy and the guys get on. I'm just going to jump in here because 
I mean, there's so much to talk about already. Just this song being such a great composition, so well delivered by Randy. And of course, Randy was a co-writer of this song. So there's so much expression in there. And don't worry, we are going to get through the whole song before the end of this analysis video. But the Eagles were a sound of my childhood. My dad well, is a huge fan of the Eagles. So I know their songs very well, but I know Randy's voice very well. He's got such a smooth tone to his voice. And you'll see on the screen that I have isolated the vocal, run it through the pitch monitoring software so that we can hear Randy's voice in a bit more detail. And I have edited the video so that it's as in sync as I can get it, even though the audio we're hearing isn't from this performance. But something that did surprise me is how little I had to move things around, which just shows you how accurate these guys were live. And I'm talking about every single element, just nailing their notes, because this is live audio that we're hearing. You can hear the plosives on the mic, the air hitting the microphone when Randy's singing. But even the tempo being so close from one live performance to the next, we're not using click tracks or anything like that here, is totally live. So as a band, they've just got that general sense of exactly where to be and they just fall into this natural groove and it's so close from one live performance to the other. And the other thing is, all of the vocals being phrased exactly the same way, because even though I've moved things around from a timing perspective, it does look like Randy is singing this in this video, even though it's not the audio from this video. So it shows you how consistent he was as a vocalist, not only just hitting pitches, but with his delivery and, you know, the, the cadence, uh, the, the way that he would deliver each line of his vocal word by word in exactly the same way, you know, night after night after night, having that ability just to lock in to this kind of vocal quality. When I'm talking about matching that feeling from one live performance to the next and referencing tempo like I just did, obviously you've got to tip your hat to Don Henley behind the drum kit, but it also helps that Randy is on bass. I always say about the drums and bass being the foundation of every live performance, but every performance in the studio as well, back in the day when it used to be recorded as the band just in the studio. Having that tightness, that foundation is essential, especially when you're talking about a song like this, which has a slow tempo and any pushing of that tempo would then not allow you to express the same emotion and give that same feeling to an audience as this tempo being absolutely nailed allows. Don and Randy just being on the same page, being so tight, allows that foundation then to be you know, layered upon by the other instruments. And of course, the vocals. <laughs> We're gonna be talking about the vocals probably quite a bit, but once you've got that foundation and, and you've layered on the other instruments, we've gotta take into consideration that when I'm talking about that rhythm section being so tight, these guys are playing and singing at the same time. So they're maintaining this tightness, this uniform tightness across the entire band while singing at the same time. And it certainly throws an extra thing into the mix because if you're playing and singing, then thinking about tempo and nailing that tempo and being tight. These are all things that have got to happen subconsciously for you to give a great vocal performance because we've got so many notes going on here that the harmonizing is just spot on throughout this whole performance and, and the audio that we're listening to. You know it's live, but it is so good. And then when you think about all of the instruments we're hearing are being played by the guys that are singing and, you know, for lots of other bands and artists, you would have designated backing singers who just stand there. They don't 
play anything because you want to make sure those harmonies are spot on and that's all they do just concentrate on doing that and complement the lead vocalist but yeah just having everyone playing everyone singing and harmonizing with each other all at the same time i mean it's just massively impressive so we will jump into randy's isolated vocal and i've taken down the backing quite a lot so that we can hear this vocal in a bit more detail all alone at the end of the evening and you know something that is <laughs> going to be synonymous with the Eagles and just their vocals generally is the pitch accuracy that we have. But when we're looking at the pitch monitoring software on the right hand side, this F4 is just so spot on. And when we're listening to the tone that he produces, I mean, it's so smooth and consistent. All alone at the end. And then a little bit breathy at the end. So we have this kind of in the end, ha, na, na, and these little tail tail off lies ha, na, na, you know that he's hitting on the way down to then a breathy sound I mean there's so much control in here there's so much technique End of the evening I, I love hearing air hitting the microphone because then you know it is truly live and again just to say that He's playing bass at the same time as this, so all of the things that I'm pointing out here are impressive from a vocalist full stop, let alone you know, being an essential part of the rhythm section of the band. When the bright lights have faded to blue oh, and I mean, listen to the subtlety in that line. We've got that blue You probably only really pick it up with the isolated vocal, but he does Put his voice just up at the end. To blue, blue. You know, and it's almost like it's right at the end of his breath, and it's not even really a blue. He's not doing that. It's just a throwaway note that is, you know, I mean, it's barely there, but it is there, which is the point. I was thinking about a woman. Who might have loved me and I never knew. I mean, listen to those harmonies. The other thing that is allowed to happen, of course, because this is an unedited vocal, is this drifting sharp that we've got. And the pitch monitoring software has picked up Randy's voice. So we're starting bang on, but then we just drift. But Again, it just sounds great, because that's just expression. You know I've always been a dreamer. I mean, this vocal core connection is so pure. It's, you know, pure tone of this kind of head voice sound. It's more like... Na, 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 na. It's kind of got that sound to it. It's probably not as much like that, uh, which was a little bit, I don't know, hooty maybe. <laughs> I don't know how you, you describe that sound, but he's got this. Na, na, it is, it's, it's a smooth head voice sound. It's not, yeah, it's not a chest voice thing. He just got this balance between head voice and chest voice, like, like a mixed voice that's going on. But it's so nice to listen to. Spent my life running round, and it's so hard to change. Oh man, we could be going through this literally word by word, phrase by phrase, just to see what he's doing with his voice. Just listen to this. I'm running round, and it's so hard to change. Listen to the way that he keeps so in chest voice. So he's going, and it's so hard, so hard. So he's pushing his voice for that expression of chest voice, not going so hard, you know, not going into that light head voice place that he is sometimes in other places. And this is the point that he mixes his technique 
Well, I, I should say he's just singing here. He he's not thinking about you know. Oh, now I'm going to do a little bit of chest voice because it's going to sound different on this particular word. He's just going to chest voice because that's the emotion that he wants in that particular word. It's just something that's going to be happening automatically for him and his voice because he's accessing emotion here. He's not singing, thinking about technique first. Can't seem to settle down, but the dreams I've seen lately. Keep on turning out and burning out and turning out the same. And you can hear on same, we've kind of got this same. So he's kind of opening up a bit there rather than same. He's now allowing that ah, that part of the sound, opening that vowel up but it just totally transforms how you feel that particular note and the emotional response that you have to it. It's when you break it down word by word, phrase by phrase, that you get to appreciate the detail and how many layers there were to Randy's voice. So put me on a highway and show me a sign and take it to the limit one more time and just to mention about the backing vocals blending i mean the eagle sound is just synonymous for their harmonies but they're blending because when we're listening to randy's vocal you can hear the higher harmony in the background which is you know way up there but listen to how airy it is it's not you know, getting a really connected vocal cord sound, it's actually really light because you don't want that backing vocal to overpower the lead vocal. It's got to be lead vocal and then backing vocal in there, but blending just behind it. And take it to the limit. That to the limit. You know, it is light. It's kind of like that. It's not... Um, what did, I, what did I just sing? <laughs> to the limit. Yeah, so it's that to the limit rather than to the limit and trying to kind of push it in the head voice to the limit and get that kind of you know, pushed strained sound to it because you might be pulling up a bit of chest voice. It's all about singing with each other here and nobody trying to kind of take the limelight away from that lead vocal so going na, 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 adding air in there just handing it off a little bit more to head voice i mean it's just so well done but yeah, we take this for granted how great technically this is to be able to get it to sound this good from each vocalist editing what they're doing so that they blend so perfectly one more time really smooth even vibrato as well on that b3 you can spend all your time making money you could spend all your love making time if it all tomorrow again love that connection on the f sharp four just pushing his voice na, 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 na. actually that's um the g sharp four na, 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 and kind of getting that oh, it's such a cool sound <laughs> obviously when i do it it doesn't sound this good but it's such a cool sound that he had to his voice to get this kind of connection but still make it sound so smooth and mellow and just great to listen to. Could you still be mine? And when you're looking for... Uh, it's just going to take it back again. You know, I don't want this video to go on for years, but it could do. Listen to the vibrato of, of the harmonies and the way that we're matching perfectly here. Still be mine. I mean, th that frequency is so even, but the other singers 
know that and just matching everything that they're doing. And when you're looking for your freedom, nobody seems to care. And you can't find the door, can't find it anywhere. When there's nothing to believe in, still you're coming back, you're running back, you're coming back. Show me a sign and take it to the limit one more time. Take it to the limit. Take it to the limit. Take it to the limit, to the limit. one more time. <sighs> I say this about great singers, but when you get a collection of great singers, you can just listen to isolated vocals all day because it sounds so good by itself. You don't need the instrumentation going on in the background. So yeah, I mean, we're back up to now where we left it, but just talking about pitch accuracy in the chorus here, Randy you know, throws his voice up so accurately all the time too. What is a B4, which is a semitone below C5? You know, it's a high note. And that's where we've got the take, take it. That note there, ah. <laughs> you know, he goes take it. And, and kind of nails that every single time. He just has this pitch locked in, his vocal cords snap to that exact same place. And it's, by no means an easy thing to do because that is that is way up there. Most guys can't even hit that note because it's so high. You know, like I said, you know, top end of the male tenor range, actually top end of the male tenor range is an A4. So you've got the A sharp four, the B4. So that's where we're going. Approaching counter tenor range. So it's really high for a guy to hit that, but he does it so quickly, his vocal cords are just snapping to that point. Again, it's just another massively impressive thing. Take it to the limit. Take it to the limit. Well, come on, take it to the limit for one more time. I've just got to jump in <laughs> just quickly because of that. Again, head voice sound, even though I said we'd listen to it till the end, I just kind of had to jump in there. But having the control to and kind of hit that going all the way down. I mean, I mean, it's crazy to even attempt some of this stuff, but it's the ease at which Randy does it that makes it sound easy. But then you think, hang on, <laughs> how is he doing that? How does he have the control to do that and just make it sound so great? Take it to the limit. And just to put this in perspective, the video that we're watching isn't where this audio is from. So when we're looking at Randy just hitting these notes and hitting these, you know, what seem like 
you know, ad libs and that kind of thing. He did this night after night. And when there's a high note that he held, we know from this video that he's holding this note for every single performance that he does because it matches up perfectly. And you can be forgiven for thinking that we're actually watching this performance, especially when you look at something like this. You can see that in this video, he's doing what we're hearing, even though we're not hearing what he's doing. So he had that vocal consistency to be able to access this in his voice night after night. To the limit. Take it to the limit. One more time. Take it to the limit. Please. Take it to the limit. And the same here, you can see that in this performance visually that he's doing this same thing. So he'll be hitting this same note, which is an F sharp five. <laughs> so again, we're talking way up there in the male counter tenor range. I just put the piano up on screen so that we get a bit of a reference point. When I'm talking about the F sharp five, that means that we are here. And you can see that actually the counter tenor range, the top end of that is E5. So in and around there, we are actually going beyond that for this particular note that Randy's hitting. So again, this is the great thing about not only Randy, but the band in general, that they had the ability to hit these kinds of notes when they're harmonizing as well, because this is the kind of range that Randy is underneath when he's hitting his main vocal line you know top end like we did say the b4 previously and then you know we'd be down to the g4 as well but in the top end of the male tenor range in order to get a higher harmony vocal with that you need some guy in the band who has the ability to hit notes in the counter tenor range and not only that but hit them in the right way to either keep them light and airy or get a more connected sound if the lead vocalist is having more of a connected sound himself with the lead vocal from randy just taking his vocal to so many different places and yeah, just having so many colors in his voice where he would, you know, hit a note in chest voice and then go to head voice and then have this really clean head voice sound. That's what it sounds like to me, but you could argue that it's a reinforced falsetto sound. And you could argue that at some point he does go into a true falsetto when he, when he goes high up in his range and adds air. But this is what great singers can do. Yeah, it's having lots of different tools that you can use for doing the same job, hitting the same note, but each of those tools will give that note a different emotion. And yeah, when we're talking about a great singer like Randy, he was just in control of everything all the time. But thank you guys for requesting this particular video for tonight. I do have an analysis video on Randy that I did a few years ago where we get into his career a little bit more. And I don't want to repeat everything that I've already said in that video. This is just to focus on his voice with the technology that we now have at our disposal. A few years ago, we didn't have voice isolating possibilities and then being able to put that through a pitch monitoring software. It's great that we can see Randy's voice in this kind of detail and hear it in this kind of detail as well. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video and I'll catch you guys at the next one.